Hi Taurus, this is Michelle uh, from the Guided Intuitive and welcome to my channel here today. I am going to do a four card spread for you that talks about the past, now, future, and then also talks about what your outcome is going to be. You were number two in terms of the likes uh, for my last mid-month for September. And today we're doing October 1st through October 15th, 2017. I am using the Chakra Wisdom and uh, in Energy cards, I should say. And because I think we're going into fall, there's a shift of energy, there's a shift of seasons. And I think this would kind of do us a little bit of good to kind of uh, recalibrate a little bit, so to speak. So if you're looking for a personal reading, I'd love to work with you. Um, also post your comments. And if you do like this reading, please be sure to um, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you. So let's go into your first card here. Nice. Your first card is Expansion. And I'm hoping that you can kind of see that a little bit. It's expansion. And this is beautiful because what this talks about is um, your throat chakra. It's a blue card, so it's a little bit more in your throat chakra. And it talks about communication. And it also talks about that that your life is kind of changing and you're moving away of maybe perhaps an old way of relating to others. And then it looks like there's some new people that are entering your life. Um, so, you know, relationships that may no longer work might be leaving your life and you're, you're actually looking to reach out to those who are on the, the same vibrational frequency as you, which is really, really interesting because then that increases your energy into greater fulfillment. So what you want to do is, um, just call upon um, you know, your, your higher clan, those and your colleagues um, that you can definitely get good advice from at this time. So you can look at all different perspectives. Um, but I think the biggest part here is that you're focusing on communication and working with those that serve you versus those that do not. I think that's one of the key things. Um, so let's look a little bit more into the card here because what's interesting is that this talks about, so this has a guy blowing wind out of his mouth and then it shows light being exchanged from two people here, which is interesting. It's kind of it shows a, a person standing back from someone uh, that is maybe um, you know uh, not related on the same vibrational frequency. And the guy that's actually blowing the wind is kind of like saying, "Okay, there's a new fresh perspective coming in here, and you're going to look for better alignment with those that align with you," which is really really nice. So, what we want to talk about here is that. How can, um, you know, how can you create better alliances? And, you know, what's real important is to um, stay away from those that are critical of your dreams. Um, because this, what this looks like is that you want those that um, are in your same camaraderie and that kind of have the same vibrational frequency as yourself. And um, it, it does indicate a possible change in, in friends as well. So it's more about being guided. Um, you know, you might be a state of uncertainty, but don't worry. You want to trust those and get advice from those um, that you like, that you believe, and that uh, you trust. And something really thing to think about is that, you know, maybe imagine something that you believe to be impossible for you to achieve. You know, maybe it's a dream job. Maybe it is that divine relationship. Or maybe it's more money or something like that. And, um... If you can imagine it, you want to do that. And when you do so, as you imagine that, you know, that dream job, more money or divine relationship, repeat out loud to yourself, I know this is possible. And keep saying this phrase, uh, Taurus, until you really truly believe it. And when you're ready, let it go and know that it can be. And so it is. So that's what I want you to keep in mind in terms of this and maybe continue to do that exercise to move you through. So let's go ahead into your now card. Interesting. And this Taurus is isolation. And if you can kind of see that, you can kind of, it's isolation. And this also, oh, this is so interesting because this is also another blue card that focuses more um, about communication and the throat chakra. So this is still about the communication there. And kind of what this, this talks about here is that you might um, 
be go, kind of going within a little bit no, more than you normally would, um, only because... Um, you know, you may have gone through, uh, you know, a particular change in a relationship, um, you know, or a particular job change or whatever the case may be. But it says what y all you could ever need is already within you and inside right now. And I think that's one of the key things. Um, you know, it's about self-protection. So, you know, protecting yourself and keeping you within the realm of those that support you. Um, and, but it also talks about never feeling ready to take action. Um, you know, and, and it's really, I, I think one of the, the big things that we want to talk about is that it's got, you know, it's kind of like a childlike playfulness that's hidden under, under your serious, elegant exterior. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of that. It was what it looks like. Cause you've got this, you've got this tuxedo here that is all dressed up and, and sitting out there, you know, kind of, uh, out there and, you know, making a really good first impression. It denotes wealth and you have the ability to do anything well. So, but what this is saying is that trust and loyalty are indicated. So if you're in a relationship and, you know, you might look the part, but do you have that trust and loyalty with each other? And um, so what this is saying is that, you know, even the colors in here, blue, are about communicating, you know, so communicating and, you know, with yourself first and then, of course, others, um, you know, so I think that's one of the biggest things there. So you'll want to kind of think about that, you know, um, focus on, you know, play, focus on experiences, um, the thing I think that comes to mind here is to know the difference between isolation and solitude. So don't isolate yourself from others when you need advice or when you need to sometimes, you know, sometimes you do need to go within um, and that type of thing. So don't isolate, but sometimes you're needed. You need to go into solitude um, where you can connect with yourself. Don't isolate yourself from others because you still need others um, around you to feed off and exchange energies and that type of thing. Um, so, you know, again, whether it is a work situation where you're having a problem and you're just isolating yourself from the rest of the group, that's not going to work. Um, what you're, you're, what you're going to want to do is to, um, you know, focus on those that reverberate among the same vibration as you and stay around that. Um, and then, you know, at times you don't want to join in on, on certain things, you know, you can be you can stand alone, but at the same time, you could also, you're also connected as a universe together. And even in a relationship, you know, um, don't isolate yourself from, from that person. But you're, even though that you're two, you're two different people that sometimes need solitude. So it's, it's kind of something, um, to know the difference between really isolating yourself and then having solitude. And this is isolation, which you definitely don't want to do. So, you know, um, don't wait for the right time to live your life by isolating yourself is what this is saying. You are on the verge of something pretty big. So, but the thing is, is that if you don't participate in it, it that it can pass you by. So again, follow your dreams, expand. Um, don't isolate yourself. Sometimes go into solitude as you needed to go within to get some of your answers, but also get advice from some other other um, other people that you trust and start making a high, you know, networking and and um, making uh, friends with those that reverberate upon your same vibration. Now, let's move into the next card, which is your future. And this is beautiful. This is gratitude. Absolutely. Just neat. Super, super neat. And what this um, talks about now, this is a purple card that goes more into it's kind of like um, your crown chakra. So that's absolutely gorgeous. And what this is actually saying to you in terms of this card is it's pretty self-explanatory, right? You know, you're capable more than, you know, um, you're so much more capable than you know, and it's time of enlightenment in terms of your communication. You've got communication here for these first two cards, and then you go into that 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 third eye chakra uh, here, uh, you know, and and that's just moving you um, to that sixth chakra. 
um, which is more of a, a, a spiritual approach being more of gratitude. You're stepping into mastery. And so the gifts that you see in others, just know that Taurus, they already live within you. So anything that you admire in others, know that you, that that is already in you. And you know, this is a time of enlightened communication and uh, you will raise the consciousness of others. So, you know, you're really, really stepping into self-mastery. And like I said, those gifts that you see in others is already within you. And you want to go that route. So love yourself first and love those gifts that you have that are in others. But also know those very same gifts are also within you if you want to cultivate those um, that for you. And if it was really, really part of uh, you know your dream there. And the thing to think about here is maybe something to inquire about yourself is who is the person I really admire most and why? And how can I live to that level? Because, you know, everything is attainable. You know, it, it takes, um, you know, a solid foundation. It takes great guidance, um, but also listening into your inner self. Um, but also uh, being very grateful for what you currently have. And gratitude just raises our vibration at a higher level. So if you're unhappy in any relationship, this is to remind you that it is always in your power, Taurus, to change it. There's no mystery to being a good person. Good people, Taurus, they just do good things. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty simple, isn't it? But it's very, very true. So one thing to keep in mind, and here's a quick thing to kind of keep, you know, as you move into this future here is maybe for the next 10 days, spend a few minutes each day making a gratitude list. You know, don't look at the precious, you know, you know, just, you know, the precious days list, you know, before you begin each day um, or look at the previous days list when you begin each day. But um, and then at the end of 10 days, read these lists and then notice what keeps coming up on your list. So for 10 days, let me clarify that a little bit for you. Make a gratitude list and don't look back. Just keep every single day, make a gratitude list and then. Once you're finished with that day, put it away and go to the next. Once you've accumulated your 10 days, then you want to go back and look at them all and find out, you know, which ones keep coming up for you. And, um, you know, and the ones that you really, really like. And, and it's just interesting to take a look because it's kind of enlightenment. It shows you um, how you could bring more things into, you know, your life. You know, so I think that's pretty, pretty exciting. So you can read all the lists at the next 10 days, but I think that's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, you just want to notice for yourself what keeps coming up for you. And so that's it. So let's take a look at your outcome, Taurus, and what you have. Aha, very, very nice. This is balance. Balance. And of course, we've got a purple card, which is more focused on your third eye chakra. So the first two focus on your um, your throat chakra, uh, and then this one moves into your third eye chakra, which is the sixth chakra. And this is pretty this is pretty amazing because you know what what we want to talk about is, of course, we can think on balancing the relationship between you and your partner, balancing your career, um, you know, with your life and the things that you like to do outside of your career. Focus on on the time for yourself and also times for your friends and your family, that type of thing. Um, but what this really wants to talk about is it may indicate that there's a reluctance to change for yourself. You may be hesitating, maybe because of a past, but that doesn't mean that you should be hasty, really. You want to weigh it all sides before moving forward. So if you're looking to make a decision um, or maybe, you know, if you're starting a relationship, you want to proceed slowly. You know, if you're starting a new job, proceed slowly. <laughs> um, and if you're meeting new people and expanding and going through that expansion that we talked about initially um, within the past, you want to go slowly. Um, so that's something to, to definitely keep in mind um, as you kind of move forward there. And, you know... Don't run towards something because, you know, you might chase it away, you know, and, or you might be deceived. So if you go slower, more things kind of reveal themselves in their um, natural, organic way. 
and um, rather than really pushing through things. And I think this is just a wonderful, wonderful message. Um, you know, you're going to take yourself wherever you go. So is there part of your life that's out of alignment with who you are too? So that might be something to take a look at too. Or is, um, are you working too much? Are you putting too much in that relationship to that, you know, giving too much in, you know, to that other person, not balancing out the scales? Do those scales need to balance? And if so, this is a perfect time to do this. Um, you know, it's, um, it's just really, really good. Um, so, you know, sometimes you just kind of let need to, to kind of take um, a step back and objectively look at things in your life and make sure that you're achieving balance all around. So overall, this talks about the expansion and focusing on really um, expanding your network with the positive people that vibrate upon the same level as yourself. And that might mean that, that people or friends might have to be let go. And that just happens sometimes for us. We move on to that next, you know, these, uh, we, we evolve when we grow and the people around us, teams, you know, are, are, are those that have those same type of influences that want to grow. Maybe it's in personal development, that type of thing. And also to, you know, perhaps don't go into isolation, but maybe go into um, know the difference between that and solitude and know that um, that sometimes you do have to go within in a relationship to kind of understand yourself or, or in a career to understand which way that you want to go within that. And then also be ex incredibly grateful for everything that comes your way, um, because obviously gratitude reaps more. And then also and last in lot. But at least, but your final outcome is balance. Balance this stuff out. And I know it's not easy um, sometimes. Um, it's easier to say than it is to do. Um, but if you step back and take a look at things um, and let things come uh, to you and don't force things, um, you know, because then that way you can make the best decisions in your life. Um, and I think that's one of the, what it's pretty much saying. So thank you, Taurus, for joining me today. Um, love having you. And just, you know, if this, if this resonated with you, please go ahead and put, place your comments below. If you like it, check the like button. And uh, also subscribe. I'd love to have you. And uh, I look forward to the 15th through the 31st that will be up and coming. But until then, namaste.